The lymphatics from the thumb and its web, they accompany the cephalic vein and they run along the lateral border of the forearm and then along the lateral border of the biceps brachii and then it enters into the deltopectoral groove along with the cephalic vein and then they pierce the clavipectoral fascia along with the cephalic vein and ultimately drains into the infraclavicular group of lymph nodes which is also called cephalic nodes. So deltopectoral node is present in the deltopectoral groove before these lymphatics pierce the clavipectoral fascia. So remember its course, the lymphatics, they accompany the entire course along with this vein, the cephalic vein. While in the same deltopectoral groove, there was this artery coming out. This artery is a branch from the thoracoacromial artery and this is the deltoid branch of thoracoacromial artery. So remember the three contents present in the deltopectoral groove. These are cephalic vein, the lymphatics from the thumb and its web, the lateral border of the forearm and the deltoid branch of thoracoacromial artery. In the same image, let me cover the lymphatic drainage of the upper limb. It's easy. You can see that the entire lymphatic drainage, if it's asked in a single line, that the entire lymphatic drainage of the upper limb drains into to the lateral group of axillary lymph nodes. But in your MCQ, sometimes they place this option as supratrochlear or epitrochlear lymph nodes. So remember that this is an intermediate group of lymph nodes present over to this cubitus region in front of the trochlea. And these are an intermediate lymph nodes for the lymphatics from the ulnar side or the ulnar border of the forearm. But ultimately, these lymphatics also drain into the lateral group of axillary lymph nodes, while the thumb and its web and the lateral border of the forearm that drains into the infraclavicular group of lymph nodes, also called as cephalic lymph nodes. They may also drain via the deltopectoral nodes.